Holy cow, these views. Again, another ride I was not expecting to be this beautiful, but Redding, Sacramento River Trail, so beautiful. sister Casey riding with us today in town is a Pedego bike shop rental so she rented a Pedego e-bike and she'll be joining us on our ride today Pedego thanks for letting your followers know I don't shave my legs One big attraction in Reading is the Sundial Bridge and one of the very first stops you see on this ride is the huge sundial built at the bridge at Turtle Bay. So you can actually ride across the Sundial Bridge, so here we go. Let's do it everybody. Keep riding. Dang, it's it's so nice out. So this is a very well trafficked trail. We're out here on a Saturday. There are tons of people out today. There's people out on their bikes, people out running, walking, people out on scooters. So just be prepared to have to navigate around a lot of people. Who's behind me? The trail will take you into a neighborhood and it'll look like the trail ends, but if you take a left, it'll catch you up to where the trail continues. Which dam's in two? Top of Shasta Dam, 13 miles. Oh, wow. For the most part so far, this trail's actually been semi-flat. There's not a ton of hills, but it's kind of nice because it's twisting and turning and it gives you a little bit of fun. So right here to the left of me, you can see we have the river. And as soon as you get out of the more city portion of this trail, it really opens up to the beautiful mountain views snow capped on top and it's warm today it's about 90 degrees so we're currently riding west and in the distance is a beautiful view of mount we think it's bali bali bought something with a b we learned this before and we forgot but nevertheless there's still some snow on it because it is spring but beautiful views of the mountain in front of us i was just saying carrie how i love the twists and turns and there aren't that many hills but right here, it's a little hilly. Whew. I'm gonna make one suggestion for anyone viewing this beautiful scenery behind me with all the flowers, the nice yellow, the matching shirt that my wife chooses to wear. Don't come in August. All of these hills will be dark brown, there'll be no flowers, it'll be sweltering in the heat. Spring will be the best time. Water's raging and super green. 
This bridge looks like it's sagging <laughs> for a concrete bridge. <laughs> You know, this is one of those trails where we woke up and we knew we would bike it, but we really didn't do a lot of research, but I'm really surprised, to be honest. It's really beautiful, and this is a well-paved, specifically designed for bikes and runners. Uh, six miles That's in, you will become to your first dam, the Keswick Dam. That water is flowing. Lots of snowfall this year. There are actually a lot of places to park along this route, so you can choose your starting point depending on how far you want to ride. But just past the Keswick Dam is a large climb. I'll see you guys at the top. I've climbed steeper. I don't have any kind of computer. I would love to tell you the elevation or the gain of this hill percentage, but it's challenging. Oh my goodness. Not too bad of a climb. This is a long hill. Did have to use sport mode, which is my middle level of assist to get up to the top, but it doesn't look like we're done yet. I don't know if the GoPro does it justice, but I'm almost near the end. And it really just kicks up here at the end. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing like a good climb. Whew. I'm on turbo now. Oh, almost there. We thought we would be waiting up here for like 10 minutes because Tyler doesn't have pedal assist on his bike, but look who it is. Killing it. Oh boy, that's a steepy. We made it to the top of this section. Best part of any hill, literally the downhill. If you're familiar at all with California and some of the wildfires, this trail does take you through part of the area that was burned in the car fire. And that was a few years back, but you can still see the remnants, the dead trees, the burned trees of that fire. And it's crazy just to think how close it actually got to the town of Redding because we're not that far out of town. Sad and scary, but happy to see everything is growing back. Growing back. So not only are there actually quite a few climbs once you get out of town, there's also a lot of turns. You gotta watch going down some of these because there's some sharp turns on some sharp grades. So something also to take note of, there's not as many trees. It's very shaded when you're in town. Once you get out of town, the shade's gone. So make sure you bring lots of sunscreen. Lots of water. It's very sunny out, so make sure you bring your sunscreen. So when we started this ride, it told us Shasta Dam was 16.5 miles. We've ridden about nine and a half, and we just came to another sign that said Shasta Dam is another 9.5 miles. So we're not actually sure how far the dam is. We may not make it to the top of the dam, but we'll see where we get to. We are about 12 miles into our ride now, and this trail literally just rides right along the river. We have been following the Sacramento River the entire time. There's a nice breeze coming through, coming up over the water, so it's kind of cool. So right now, once you get to the actual lake section here, it is a long straightaway. It's really relaxing.
can see the dam. 17.28 miles. We're not to the top, but we can see it from the trail. So we're not sure if you can actually get to the top of the dam. We're on the road right now trying to see where the trail leads us to, but we can see the dam in the distance. We made it. So the trail actually ends at Shasta Dam Campground. You can see the dam off in the distance. You can't ride up to the top of it unless you want to ride on the freeway, which we don't want to do. And unfortunately, not a lot of water running over it today, but pretty cool that we made it all the way. Campground at the end, there is a water refilling station and some bathrooms. So that's good to know because we are for sure running low on water. 18 miles, not a lot of water running over the dam, but we made it. What's our total elevation? 641 feet. All right. Not a lot of water on the dam, but we made it. We made it all the way to the dam. That was our goal. Probably the best shot the dam will get. Like as Carrie said, we're gonna fill it with some water and then we're out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you think about doing this trail, honestly, it's quite beautiful. Start earlier than we did. It's about 2.30, it's pretty hot and it's only end of April. Um, go earlier in the morning, but quite beautiful and worth it. Let's head back, get some water. The Sacramento River Trail. So we found a cool little pull off off the trail and it has a little walking path down to the water. It's hot out today, so we're gonna walk down to the water, hang out in the shade and cool off in the water. We're finding all the creative ways to stay cool on this ride. Hopefully one final stop before we get back. That's all from this day. Yeah, that's true. Cool. Nailed it. It's things like that to make it worth it. I'll be honest, I'm getting tired. We got 10 miles to go and we're right back to the hilly part. We just love being outside. We just did a killer climb on the way back. It's the one on the way out where I was just dying. I'll clip to it here so you can remember. Whew. It is exhausting, especially after you've done about 25 to 30 miles, but we are now on the home stretch. But just so you know, going out, that's challenging in the beginning, and coming back, you get that good climb right at the end. Otherwise, it's been a really good ride. We're gonna wrap it up here. Might do a few more beauty shots, and if you're thinking about doing this trail, be prepared for a long, fun day. Would it really be a true bike ride if your last one mile ended with a half mile climb? I don't think so. See you next time. And for those of you that aren't subscribed, if you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, comment on this, say something to us, say hi. It really helps us out. We're doing this for fun. We like making videos and sharing it with other people. It's just part of our extracurricular activities. See you out there.